Hi guys, this is Delores Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about uh, Android animations. We'll be looking at the counting calculator. Uh, the counting calculator is a very simple calculator application uh, which is designed to familiarize children with the idea of adding two numbers together. To make it easy to use, animated elements direct the child's attention to the things that happen as they use the calculator okay uh, we'll be talking about some uh, the three major techniques are uh, about our uh, animation where we talk about the frame animations uh, the twins and the animators and also the surface based animations in the course of uh, the animation series videos I'll be creating uh, what is a frame animation uh, these are just uh, animations that show the same uh, repeated animation every time you play it or if they do change no they follow some simple predefined patterns okay uh, just like uh, we you have like five pictures of uh, first uh, stage of picture probably a guy was trying to give a punch the second uh, picture uh, the end was moving further the third getting further the fourth uh, the, the end is very close to the man to the other opponent's face you know the fifth one the punch landed on the cheek you know the third the opponent try to fall down you know followed like that until the opponent gets to the uh, to the floor so you can actually add up pictures of this nature and make a frame animation from that okay that's what the frame animation means uh, we will be looking at the twins uh, animation that apply to a widget based application now, which take an ordinary input form and move it around in a way that means something, you know, uh, which is like a transition between one stage to the other. That's what we call the twins. Okay. Animations that can show anything calculated on the fly from whatever data that are given. Our uh, games are made like this, you know. These are called the surface based animations. Without much, much ado, I'll be moving straight to Android Studio. We have the source files of the counting calculator. We will be using the frame animation as our the, the splash screen of this our, our application. We we'll also be applying the twins and the animators right uh, on the balls of these uh, of this uh, of the calculator. You know, basically the uh, the calculator application we just show to screen uh, some numbers to add up together. So those numbers are, are represented by different bouncing balls, you know, to actually add up to the uh, uh, calculated uh, figure. So the figure represents the, ba the balls right on the screen of the application. So, okay, I'll be more to the studio after said. And uh, we'll be looking at the Gradle scripts, which we have the build Gradle, the project, and the module app session. In the module app, we have our compiler SDK and also the application ID. Uh, in the project session, we maintain the class path dependencies, the Gradle 1.5.0. Okay, let's go to our REST folder. Uh, we have the anim, which we'll get to look at after uh, looking at the splash XML. We'll be talking about the splash screen. Okay, where we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 uh, pictures. Okay, which uh, the, the splash XML will actually be are uh, using and holding on to so let's get to look at your splash xml this is an animation list check where we listed uh the drawables to each splash pictures okay and also assigning the an undo android duration of 100 so let's get to look at the first uh splash screen the counting calculator the second one you can see that is a movement the third one it continues the fourth continues up to the eight which are it disappears so that is where the uh the frame animation will come in where we have to put all these splash screens together okay uh let's look at our layout files where we only have the main xml as the url of the application after the splash screen uh, which is actually going to handle the balls and uh, the calculation okay uh this is a view flipper tag parent tag where we have an image right inside it we give it an id called splash container 
a linear layout follows uh, with an orientation of vertical and also uh, we call on the the directory of the ball field java class you know that's the package which are uh, we assign a background of light of a green green color the layout follows this time this is all the rotation is horizontal uh text views go on with a display underscore lhs on that text view for the display plus uh another one for the display underscore rhs this for the equals these are just for the uh, addition you know your figure plus these equals this while the text view this is going to actually display the results we give it an idea for results we close the linear layout we have another table layout where we have a layout animation calling from the name keypad bounds we get to look at the animation a uh, few animations were actually used in this application uh the table row which actually uh calls on the id number from one to nine while well, we separated them three by three so we have three in three buttons in a in a table row with a lay with an android width of 50 dp and the text size of 40 dp okay that represented the three rows table row we have to close the table layout the linear layout and also the view flipper uh tag all right uh let's get to look at the anim let's look at the animation xml we actually did we have the display character uh where we call on the android interpolator i'd like you to read more on interpolators and translate and also on alpha these are just uh the transition between uh one uh one animation to the other you know where we call from the x delta up to the y delta based for the translate and the alpha uh, we have for the keypad bounce that's going to be a bouncing nature of uh the uh, of the key pounds where we call on the interpolator as well where we call on the bounce interpolator where they are uh the the, the circular shapes you know represented by the numbers we actually bounce you know, to the ui okay we also translate it uh from the y delta to the x delta we have the keypad bounce this time uh, okay where we call on the anim key bounce okay this just to the same calling the layout animation okay that's very very uh, straightforward we'll be looking at our java classes where we'll be talking about the calculator class the calculator delegator uh the count droid the ball feed the animated display element okay let's look at the calculator uh class okay uh this sets are the onset the input numbers array and the new handler array where we created an object called input number receiver okay we have an error for exception probably there is an error where it calls on the serial version uid as an interface we call on the number handler uh the calculator where we clear it up probably we will set uh the figures okay and this is going to show the result uh a for loop right there uh, for each loop no uh, what about an error will be thrown if you haven't finished typing in the sum okay we have a valid input to check for the valid input and also the input value uh where we an error also will be true i can only add numbers i understand okay that's if the value is actually valid okay uh let's get to look at the ball feed because that's where the balls come in and uh start to there's a lot of mathematics and velocity calculation in this particular class okay uh we have a ball uh class and extends from the ball field uh uh main class well we we declared some private fields uh the x and y the radius the gravity and we assign it to the appropriate uh integer figures you know now we have the for the next frame that actually gets the frame to the next well, by checking for the velocity you know of the x and y coordinates uh this is going to draw to canvas okay and also we're going to bounce the bounce item bounce time there's going to be a bounce time you know calculated by the math square root you know this is the calculation over here uh we have the get duration until it stop you know there must be a duration of your transition animation okay this for the ball where we get the height and the ground line the target x and do some width calculation with the height as well all right that's fine uh let's look at the 
animated display element the element itself that implements the calculator number handler you know where we have the animated display element we set the text we also set its visibility and we animate uh where we have the display character why by setting the visibility and start the animation all right i would like you to go through these uh, source files where we did uh, the velocity calculation of how the balls actually came into play and i uh, will actually be uploading the source files to, to my github account and i will be showing this in an android emulator but just before that let's look at the manifest uh the manifest actually uh calls on uh the label and also we have the activity launcher which is the main activity uh the count droid is the main activity of this application okay this is the count droid uh, where we extend the activity itself, we instantiate the calculator uh, class and create an object from that. And also the calculator delegator, we created an object from this. Okay, and uh, we have uh, button IDs uh, which are created by the IDs you call the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 9 in the XML I show the main XML. Okay, we have the onCreate method that set the content view main layout and also we instantiated the calculator delegator and passing the calculator as its parameter to its new class. We have the onPause, we have the associate number buttons. Okay, and now we're going to associate the calculator display. Okay, based on the LHS, the plus, the RHS equals get its ID. No, we actually created all these from the animation. Ah, uh, if you can remember the results, uh, the equals. So we're going to associate the ball feed, and now we, we have to show the splash screen as well. That's where we start the splash screen. We show calculator after splash. Okay. Now look at uh, the frames. Now this is this is this is the logic of how the frames come to be. You know where we get the number of frames, and we iterate it. We have the a splash duration, okay, and we assign it to the splash, okay. So we're still going to show calculate after splash. This shows splash, and this shows calculate after splash, which we pass in the method where immediately after the start of the splash, okay. What's get that gonna do? The splash container gets the view by ID, okay. We have the animation drawable calling from the drawable for our folder. Okay, where you get the splash container, you get the background, and also the flipper. There is a flipper or uh, tag we used uh, in our XML. Okay, you get this idea as well. You pause, delete it. You get the current. If the splash current is equal to get frame, you get the number of the frames, and you show the next flipper. Okay, that's when you start. You get to show the next uh, transition of pictures. You know, I would like you to put uh, more conversions on the show splash. And the show calculator after splash that actually brought about uh, the frame transition of the splash screen. Okay, I'll be uploading. I'll be showing this in an Android emulator. So stay tuned. Here we go with the calculator counting calculator. That was very fast. I would like to uh, take it one more time. That was pretty fast, uh, so that we can be able to see it very well. Let me launch it up. County calculation. Just notice uh, the the splash screens. You will hardly believe that uh, these are images together. Can you notice that? It's walk around it. All right. So now we get to the uh, main example and the main lessons of this uh, application. Okay. First of all, let's pick up four. Try to count up the balls that come up comes in four and we have the bouncing animation okay they set themselves up as four okay what are we adding together let's add five that gives us what nine so that equals to nine as a calculation you notice the the balls that will come up all together when counted should be with nine all right so let's all right one two three four five six seven eight nine that's accurate so this is first of all the introduction 
uh, to animation on an Android we still have a more bumper package in stock for you guys have a wonderful time and don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye bye stay tuned to the channel a lot is to coming on on Android animation bye bye